Hi, I'm Sophie Giuliano at GorgeouslyGreen.com and I'm showing you how to make recipes from my new book, Do It Gorgeously. So today, we're going to make beeswax candles. Now, what I absolutely love about beeswax candles is that regular candles, paraffin wax candles, and particularly tapers that you put on a dining table, can be very toxic um, in some of the chemicals that they burn. So we really want to avoid those. Soy candles are a really good alternative, but my favorite candles are beeswax because they give off a wonderful honey scent and they're actually really good for anybody who suffers from asthma or allergies. They can actually help. So from any craft store or online candle making store, you would order sheets of natural undyed beeswax. It smells like honey, it smells so good. And you would also order some wick. Both of these are pretty inexpensive. Um, it's fun because it's, it's very much like making sushi or, or rolling up a yoga mat even. So simply, all you do is put your sheet of beeswax on a wooden board and you will need a hairdryer. So, a little louder here. You want to heat the beeswax up enough that you can really easily roll it. It's actually very quick to do this. There, that's about good. That is perfect. Now, having done that, it's nice and malleable now, measure out some wick. Now the wick needs to be measured out from one end of the width of the beeswax. Take it out about two inches further and snip it off like so. Now lay the wick about two inches from the edge of the beeswax that is nearest to you and then start rolling. So the first little roll you want to do is get the beeswax down over the wick and then you start rolling. Now the key with when you roll this is that you want to make sure that particularly the bottom part of your candle is even to the top. And by the way, if you go wrong, don't worry, because you can easily just heat it a little bit more and start again. You can actually unroll the whole thing if you make a mistake. So, a little bit of heat there. Okay, we're nearly done. We are nearly, nearly done. Now, I have my candlestick here. I'm going to measure and start seeing if it's about the right size for my candlestick. I need a little bit more wax. Probably that will work. Okay, that looks about good to me. A sharp kitchen knife on your cutting board. Simply cut the edge off, like so. Perfection. Trim the wick. Put it in there first. This is going to be absolutely perfect. And then I'm going to trim the wick, like so. And there you have it. An absolutely wonderful beeswax candle. And these hand-rolled are extremely expensive to buy. So remember, you can do it at home. You can do it gorgeously. So for this project and many more projects and recipes, grab a copy of my new book, Do It Gorgeously, or go to gorgeouslygreen.com. <laughs>